What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Alexander Usyk. Get this. Alexander Usyk lost 22 pounds in a week after Russia invaded Ukraine. Alexander Usyk's wife revealed he had lost 10 kilograms, which is 22 pounds, in just a week after Russia invaded Ukraine. Usyk was fighting on the front line against the Russian Russian invasion of his home country, but since left to prepare for his heavyweight title defense against Anthony Joshua, the Ukrainian described the horrific scenes in his country that included soldiers shooting at his house and his neighbors being dragged away. The ongoing war, understandably, had a huge effect on Usyk. His wife said that the heavyweight champion lost 10 kilograms in just a week while helping defend his country and was torn apart from the crisis. Sasha, which is his nickname, lost 10 kilograms in a week of the war. He was so horrified and such shock, he was so torn apart. She said, I said, Sasha, please, people are asking. You need to speak somehow. Support. It's very difficult for him. He doesn't really like giving interviews in normal peacetime anyway. Now it's difficult for him to, but he still goes on the air to say something. His position is clear. He has always been for Ukraine. He has always glorified it and will glorify it as long as he has enough health and strength. Usyk's rematch with Joshua is expected to take place in June or July now, with Saudi Arabia likely hosting the fight after a landing reported $90 million bid or £90 million pound bid. The first pair fought in London the se last September where Usyk outpointed him. Mm. Usyk said he spoke with former heavyweight champions Vladimir Klitschko and Vitaly Klitschko about stepping down from the front line to prepare for his rematch with Joshua. He admitted that the war is constantly on his mind during his preparations for the fight. Hmm. Uh, let me counterpunch. Red flag. In fact, another red flag. The mental part of it. Uh, the war is still on my mind as I try to prepare. That's one red flag. Now this is another red flag. He's lost 22 pounds in one week. Okay, that's just one week. And the question is, well, how long was he there? Right? Um, we know war is about survival. Right? So they're trying to survive. It's not, they're not doing the invasion. They're being invaded. Right? So they're about surviving. So they brought their intake, their food intake down to a minimum. I can understand that. Survival. But then you leave the front line to prepare for a fight that you consider child's play compared to war, understandably. But yet that war, which is not child's play, is still on your mind. So now we hear on top of that, that you've lost 22 pounds in a week. So it's. It's weird for me. It, it's like it's too many red flags for Alexander Usyk. I think that hearing that and then seeing and if I'm Anthony Joshua, Joshua's like, hey, I just want my belts back. But then it's like it's something bigger than that. You know, you can look at it two ways. You can look at it like, well, if I do beat him, will I get credit? You know, or, or better yet, would I be satisfied with beating a guy that outpointed me when things were OK? Versus things are not okay. Would I be satisfied with uh, getting a win over him where I know he was a bit distracted? He was smaller because he lost weight and he really wasn't prepared like he could have been or should have been. Would I, you know what I mean? That That's the question you ask yourself. And then that determines, you know, the decision of Anthony Joshua fighting him or not. You know, because what we don't want, though, we don't want a Alexander Povetkin like situation where Povetkin was older, he was sick, he had COVID, you know, and then Dillian White went in there and just beat the crap out of him. And then it's like, hey, that's okay. No, it's not really okay because we know Alexander Povetkin wasn't even the same fighter. He was a shell of himself. That person that knocked out Dillian White that was dropped twice to get back off the canvas and knock out 
uh, uh, Dillian White, that person was no longer that person. OK, and I don't know if that person will ever be that person, because apparently COVID hit him for a huge blow. You know how they kept postponing it, postponing it, postponing it and pushing it back, pushing it back. OK, and then Dillian White won that. And it's kind of hard to really. Hey, yeah, I got my revenge, but I'm like, you got your revenge on a guy that's recovering. And. I don't want to necessarily put Alexander in Alexander Usyk in that situation, but if you're not mentally there and it's still on your mind and you, you've lost weight, so who's to say how much weight does he weigh now? You know what I mean? Because it takes a while to properly, naturally, um, healthy-wise, put on weight, especially when you know you're not really a heavyweight. Usyk is probably about 205 pounds, which is, that's a heavyweight, but compared to someone a lot bigger, much bigger, like Anthony Joshua, you've seen him bulk up, you've seen him get thicker, you know, and then we question, will he be fast enough? And obviously that answered our question because he definitely was, but now he's lost the weight. Would he even make a weight? Would he come in below that particular weight? Could he put it on in time? Will he try to bulk up quick? You know what I mean? And if he does that, at what result? Will it affect his speed, his accuracy, his reflexes? Will, you know, he's 35 years old, not saying that he's just hella old, but, you know, if you've lost that type of weight, I think what he needs and he does not have people is time. We've already heard it, it's going from June to now, July. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, well, maybe he needs the August to do that type because that type of preparation, because that's the thing about Alexander Usyk. I think he can beat anybody if he puts his mind to it, but he does need the time to properly do it and prepare for it. And it, in all these red flags that I'm seeing, it's showing me that he doesn't have that time. It's showing me that, that things are not in his favor. And I think if, if you rush anything that's supposed to take time to complete, it's going to be some type of error or some type of side effect to it. Okay. And that's what we don't want when it comes down to uh, the unified heavyweight champion of the world. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Alexander Usyk losing 22 pounds within a week, according to his wife. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.